Hey, welcome back to Barley and Hops. We're actually at the Barley and Hops man cave today. Uh, we're gonna shoot this video because I got a lot of things going on around the house. I can't spend all my time at the store. Uh, so this is sort of like my lab away from the lab. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we're gonna extract some essential oils out of some plants that we got laying around. Uh, and the reason for that is, is that I posed a question to my wife about potentially getting myself another one of these eight gallon dual purpose models and she's you know first of all is don't you have enough don't you do enough and oh by the way it doesn't do anything for me so I'm here to prove her wrong and you watch what happens when we're finished with this here's what I did is I went out she's got these rosemary bushes on the side of the house that are really invasive uh, but they've got this really really nice fragrance and aroma to them so I picked a whole bag of them I just went over there I just cut as many of them off as I could without ruining the plant of course it'll regrow um, now all of these have a lot of essential oils inside the greenery and we're gonna I'm gonna separate all of that I'm gonna peel all of these off and here's what will happen and I got a whole bag of them, so I got a while to go through Here's what's going to happen. I've got this eight gallon still. I'll put about two and a half, three gallons of water in here. And I'm going to fill the rest of it up as much as I possibly can, all the way up to the top if necessary, with all of these petals. And then we're going to turn this on. We're going to run it just like we normally would a still. We're going to, but we're going to run it hot. We're going to run it all the way up to 212 and let it boil its butt off. And as it does that, what it'll do is it'll extract those essential oils and those oils will be carried through with a lot of that steam. And when it condenses on the opposite end in our jug, when we're all finished, that oil will separate from the water and it will float on top. And we'll be able to see the difference. Now, it won't be a whole lot, but it will be full. It will be absolutely packed with the fragrance and aroma and the characteristics of whatever you put in here. Now, here's the good news. The good news is that we can also do this with lavender. She's got a couple of lavender plants out front. That's the next job. And you can do it with roses. You can do it with honeysuckle vines. You can do it with any of those. If you walk out into your garden and you've got that wonderful aroma that you'd love to recreate, well, extract the essential oils and then put those in your, in your air purifiers in the house, and it'll make those rooms smell like that. I think we can all recognize when we go to the store, we go to your local store, you'll, you'll notice that they've got all these essences laying around of different uh, aromas and they're quite expensive this is really a simplistic way of getting those oils out now you're not going to get a whole lot but what you get is going to be potent all right uh, i'll be back with you shortly as soon as i get these all peeled i get this all set up and then we'll discuss it as we let it run and then we'll check back from time to time but i'm not going to bore you with all the rest of that stuff look you hang in there and we'll be back shortly well, i've got almost a bucket i thought i'd slip in here and show you exactly what i was doing you don't have to be that careful, but this is a, this is like a rosemary stem. And what we don't want, really, is we don't want this brown piece of wood. Uh, so you just grab it from the end. Here, I'll drop this one and just pull back. And you'll see that all of those little leaves come off. And then I add that to the bucket, and the end, I pull the end off. Now, there are, I'm going to get some in there but and like this one you see you got these shoots off here i just pull all of them off and just throw them in the bucket right now i've got a full bucket so we're getting ready to get this thing rocking and i'll be with you as soon as i get this set up well welcome back um got it ready i've got three and a half gallons of water in here and now i'm just going to add all of my rosemary and i got a whole bucket of rosemary here you'll see that that's uh that's quite a oh quite a bit there's now i got a cleanup job ahead of me. All right, well, let me add all of this. And all we do is just drop it in there. We're going to actually fill this pot. So I'll be back shortly. G got it full. Look, um, I've emptied the uh, bucket in there. i got a mess to clean up, man, but uh, she, she's going to be real happy when I'm finished with this. But uh, And I will. I'll clean all of this up because I've got these petals laying all over the place. All right, three and a half gallons of water, and I've probably got about four inches of head space. I'm just touching the top of it now, so you can see my hand's just there. So um, I've got my heat band on. I put it on a controller, and it's on full blast right now, so 1,500 watts. Now, uh, I had described this before in one of the other videos. If you're going to use a heat band, once this thing starts to heat up, this band gets hot. Uh, as with all metals, they start to expand, so it'll loosen. Uh, and if you don't continue to keep it just a little bit snug to see there now it's real it's a matter of fact it's fairly loose so I'm just going to snug it up a little bit more 
If you don't do that, this heat band will expand and it'll just drop off. You can't touch it, so it's you can't pick it back up. So just give, give it a couple of turns every couple of minutes. Uh, just check on it. And then uh, it also, when you turn it off and it starts to cool, of course, it'll start to constrict again and get smaller. And it'll try to tear itself apart if you don't loosen it. So and when you turn it off, just, you know, give it a couple of loose uh, turns, you know, left, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Uh, and what else I did was I put two small blocks of wood here because what I wanted to do is I didn't want to dissipate all the heat into the countertop. I just wanted to go right into the bucket. So I've got those there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up this, the, the top with a column and I've opted as opposed to putting in the rubber bung and the uh, thermometer that would go in there because I'm not going to track the temperature. I'm just going to run it. Uh, what I've done is I've went out and got these things are really, you can get them at Home Depot, Walmart, uh, uh, Lowe's, and it's just a two inch plug. And what these are for is to put inside of a pipe and you screw it down and it just, it seals itself. And then you can fill the pipe up, you can check if it's got leaks. Uh, just unscrew this. I'm just going to add this to the top of my column. It's a two inch model. Just slides right on there. Screw it a couple times and it seals itself. So. I just want everything that comes up this column to go right through this condenser and come out the end. Uh, when we get this thing fired, get it hot, because all I've got left to do really is just to add the column to the pot, hook up the water hoses, place my jug next to it, and we're going to start collecting because it's going to be just like distilling water. But the difference is, is that the water that we distill out of here will be rich with essence oils. And we're going to collect those and put those to good use. So we'll see you in, uh, I don't know, probably about 10 or 15 minutes when we get this all ready. Hey, oh, yeah, you caught me on my, actually, I'm making a, let me put this on pause. I'm watching a movie and making a cup of coffee. Uh, I'm heating up. I've gone to, I'm going to use these uh, tall slender bottles. And the reason I'm going to use these uh, is because that in, this, in the neck, because the neck is so narrow, that it'll make it easier for that oil to separate from the water. And then we'll just transfer it in a larger jug later. But I've got four of those bottles sitting out there. It'll probably take more than that. But we're hooked up to the tap. All my water lines are hooked up. My heater's working. Uh, we've got probably another 10 or 15 minutes, and then uh, we'll be back with you. See you shortly. She's working. Hey, I wanted to give you just a couple of real quick tips. Uh, as this is, you can see it's running now. Uh, that's actually, I'm just, this is boiling, and we're distilling, actually distilled water, but I can smell the aroma in here of the rosemary. It is just amazing. Um, as this thing starts to heat up, regardless of whether you're using a hot plate, you're using a heater band, or you're using propane, it doesn't really matter. Uh, in any event, you'll know when to turn the water on. You know, we don't have a thermometer up here. All we've done is just capped it off. But you'll know when to turn it on because you can start feel, you'll feel the heat off of your column. It'll be hot here and it'll be cool here and then it'll start to warm up and it'll be hot, you know, it'll work its way up. When it gets up to the very top and you start to feel your condenser arm, when it starts to warm up, turn your water on. You're getting ready to have steam come through there and all we want to do is condense it at that point. Now, shortly I'll, uh, I'll show you what this looks like and with a little bit of oil separator from it, but I'm going to run this for the, I've got three and a half gallons of water in there and I've got a bunch of rosemary, so I'm expecting to get, well, I don't know, maybe a couple of ounces, uh, but I'll show you that at the t when, whenever it's over. I'm, uh, I'm going to go back to my movie and uh, have another cup of coffee. And Gosh, this is just one of those days. Look, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Um, this is one way to get your wife to agree. I, uh, this is George. I I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Here we are. Hey, this took me about 45 minutes or so to heat up to get it going. Uh, it took me about 35 or 40 minutes to collect my first full quart. Now I'm going to bring this close and show this to you so you can see what we're talking about. And you'll notice that at the very top here, you'll see this is where the oil is located and the rest of it is just the water. So it, it's not a lot. It's a really small amount. But let me tell you what, that, that is very, very potent. Um, that's extracting oils. So this is the extractor for extracting essential oils. It works extremely well. We've done the rosemary today. As soon as the bushes get a little bit bushier, I'm going to do the lavender. Um, gosh, I don't know. It's, uh, I might just plant some other things. But this is uh, all around. I'm working on my second bottle. And I'll just keep on running this until it runs, just runs out. So 
you have any questions, please give us a call. Uh, this is one additional use for your dual purpose pot reflux still. Uh, it might just make you that hero that we all know you are. Have a great day and happy brewing.